What's up, nerds? We're back with another video. It's Warshaw, and today I have my friend Mac, and he is gonna come in here and be the dummy for today's video. And in today's video, we're gonna do some more attacks from the guard. Um, this is gonna be in the beginner series playlist. Go check out all of those videos because all of those are targeted to people, hopefully like you that's watching right now. And when I say that, I'm talking to the white belts, new people that are uh, either interested in started or getting started. So make sure you check that playlist out. Um, but we're gonna do one of my favorite basic series from the closed guard. We're gonna hit some attacks and sweeps. Um, and we are going to talk about chaining your attacks together. So when people talk about chaining your attacks, what that means is being able to recognize when one's not working and knowing what to switch to off of that. Because if we get in the habit where we attack one at a time, if I attack the Kimura, I realize it's gone, I let go and I restart. I'm always starting from ground zero. And you know, maybe on a brand new white belt, that'll work. But on someone like Mac, who's got a couple of years under his belt, he's a blue belt, you're not gonna catch the first one on him unless your timing is perfect. And that's hard, right? So we have to learn to chain our attacks together, not just our submissions, but also our sweeps, our back takes, our counters, um, so that we can try to stay a couple of steps ahead of our opponent as we're attacking this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the closed guard. So I have Mac inside the closed guard, and we're gonna start with just some basic application of each of these techniques. So I'm gonna sort of fly through this part, but I want us to understand what we're chaining together before we start chaining it. So we're gonna start, let's talk about the Kimura first. So when I attack the Kimura, obviously if he's got a hand on the mat, it's there. Um, but notice I push the hand out past his knee. I don't want to keep it here where I start to reach up and grab and he's able to immediately hug my back or put the arm uh, under him, hide it under his chest where he can defend the Kimura. I like to get it way out here where it's harder for him to find it. And as I come up, I make sure my chest connects to his shoulder, his is a trap all the way down to his bicep, really. So I want good, solid contact there. Boom, I'm touching, I still have that wrist control. When I swim, a lot of guys do this. We drop and swim. Notice how, as I did that, you saw my arm slide down to the elbow. I don't wanna do this here, because for me, I feel like it's easier for Mac to defend this by circling or changing the angle. His arm's gonna stay relatively straight. It's easy for him to swing out and grab onto things. And now he's actually entering into an attack himself. So what I want is I want to keep everything up high. I want to swim. And as I do, I rip back past my knee and immediately I punch inside. So I don't want it out here in space because we can see Matt's sort of strong. He's long, right? He's going to be able to fight this out. I want to put it inside this box between my knee and his shoulder. As I'm connected, this arm that I have, uh, reaching through grabbing my own wrist is going to pinch onto Mac's shoulder blade. And with my feet, I can leave a foot like this. As long as I'm blocking the hip, I'm good. You can relock your guard, body triangles, anything you want, but you bite. And then from here, you paint a line up towards his head. You get your tap, there's your finish. So there's the Kimura. One of the others in this series is gonna be the bump sweep. So look at the Kimura setup, and then look at the bump sweep setup. Very similar. They're, they're neighbors, right? I'm, I'm going cross body on both of these, attacking the same thing. So for the bump sweep, I'm just coming up, making sure I have good control of the arm. I punch it under me. As I twist, I pop my hips and bridge to get the finish. So two off of that. And then the third attack we're going to be chaining in this series is the guillotine. So same thing from here. This is going to be the arm and variation of the guillotine. And I'll explain that as soon as I show you. But all of it's happening on this side today. So for the guillotine, arm in simply means that I have his arm inside the loop of the choke. So this is the loop of the choke, right? It makes that close, closed uh, loop right here, right? Normal guillotine, I have nothing else inside of it other than his head. And we stretch to finish. That gives me the tap. Well, in this, in the arm end guillotine, if I'm here and I start to stretch, being that his arm is also in that loop, as I start to stretch, look at his head. It starts to pop out. So instead of stretching to finish this, we're going to keep the elbows tight, and I do a sit up. I pull my knees to my chest, I put my head to his uh, back, basically. So here, sit up, I get my tap. So now let's talk about chaining these together. So we're gonna start with the bump sweep. So as we're here, 
I've worked everything out, I come up and I don't want to stay low on my elbow like I would for the Kimura. As I come up to attack, I thrust my hip, everything up into him, keeping my knees pinched tight on his hip. And what's gonna happen is we're either gonna finish the sweep, so we would pop, bump, and finish, or we can come right back up. He's gonna do one of two things. He's going to hug and run me over to flatten me back out, or he's going to post the arm. So if I'm up and he does post the arm way out because he doesn't want me to be able to finish the sweep, we immediately, this hand that's uh, on the mat, is gonna leave, and I'm gonna fall into my Kimura. So as I'm here, back. See, I knocked the arm out from under him. We're back in the same spot. Earlier we were with the Kimura. We get our grip, we pinch, we get our finish. As I'm here, if I go up, bump sweep, instead of posting, he's going to hug. So this takes the Kimura away, and what he wants to do is run me over. He wants to drop me back to the floor. If I wait till I'm at this point, Good luck trying to catch the guillotine. You won't find it. It's a timing thing. So as I'm up, when I feel him hug, I'm going to drop my butt and my hips back into the mat. And what that does is that creates a pocket of space between me and Mac. You can see this space here, which means it's gonna be very easy as I switch. So I was up, I drop, as I switch, my hands connect underneath. You can see me waving at you. Right, and as I'm sitting back, I keep my head tight, I crunch up, I get my tap. <clears throat> so that's it, another video in the beginner series. Super easy stuff, very easy to chain together, and once you get good at it, it's very successful. Um, I think that's it, but thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, share, do all the good stuff, and I'll see you guys later.